What is going on, Zanes? And welcome back to another episode of ERLC, Emergency Response Liberty County. Admittedly, I did have a completely different video in mind. I just completed my own $1 million challenge not too long ago. You guys are going to be watching the video for that tomorrow. But I ran into this update and I started looking around and I got to tell you, I wasn't going to make a single video about one update. It's just not normally what I do around here. But as I kept on looking around, I realized Oh my goodness, ERLC has finally received a facelift. So although I won't be covering the fact that it's available to play on mobile now or phones, I am going to talk about the user interface, how it's been redesigned, and all the little tips and tricks behind it. As we load in Zanies, look around, look at the buttons. Before we get into the interface though, check out the map. I don't know if it's the fact that I was just growing tired of the winter theme or the fact that I missed the spring update so much, but something about this map right now just brings out the colors, brings out the textures. I mean, look at the ground. I don't remember the ground or the roads in ERLC having this much detail, and I promise you, I have not changed any settings in my computer whatsoever. I am really a big fan of the colors in ERLC, and as I've said before, for whatever reason, once springtime comes around, my thumbnails get a lot more clicks, it is just better for building those thumbnails, or maybe I just suck at making thumbnails, I don't know. Alright Zanies, but jumping into the actual interface and some of the updates let's begin with the map look at the map it is finally more than just one big square in the bottom left hand corner now we can actually see north east west and south and yes i understand that's always been there but not in the way that it's there right now looking at the map there's really not much different here other than a lot of things have been rounded and obviously we still have the toggles right there in the bottom left hand corner that can be shown or hidden at any point in time some of the most eye-catching stuff though is up in the right hand corner that sort of changes things a little bit and don't let it confuse you beginning with the money icon up in the right hand corner if you click that the interface is still quite the same but if you click on the list menu that is what's going to take you back to the normal jobs we're going to be talking about those jobs here in a second continuing though it's important to know zanies that the bars up here are now your health and stamina icons for example if i jump around you're going to begin to see that orange bar begin to deplete a little bit until it gets down to the bottom and you do get that notification that it's time to refill your stamina. And unfortunately, I can't show you what that looks like right now, but don't worry, it doesn't look too much different. Again, just some of the interfaces have been rounded, but it's still quite the same. And before I completely move on, just remember that the green bar is your health icon. So if you sustain any type of damage, you will see that bar begin to shrink just a little bit more. Moving our way down from that bar, obviously this icon here is still the map, very similar to the one in the bottom left hand corner. But now the little suit icon is your Mafia. Once again, menus are rounded here. We can begin our Mafia. It's not going to make a difference because I am in my private server, but just a better looking interface all around. Next to that is the server info, which doesn't really matter. Nothing changes there. And then the animations menu, just a little bit better looking all around. And the settings, nothing too much different here. Let's go over to the car dealership though, because this is where we begin to see some of the bigger differences. Look at the menu now, you guys. Completely rounded it all the way around but my favorite part is this when you click on a vehicle it actually shows you what kind of vehicle it is along with its power now before you tear me up in the comments once again I know we previously had the sort of ambiguous looking was it three section or four section bar that told you how strong or powerful the car is but now you get it in a little bit more detail with these rectangles here you can very clearly see how strong a vehicle is moving from some of the lower vehicles down to some of the more expensive vehicles and again you can very clearly see how powerful these vehicles are i don't own some of these vehicles just a friendly reminder that in the coming days you're going to see me go on another shopping spree returning to the cars however you can see that this is a luxury vehicle with almost all the bars full you can see that the navarro horizon is a regular vehicle with almost all the bars full and then you can get different variations of it but when you get to 
the Falcon Heritage, you can see that it's an absolute beast, along with the 650S, along with the R8, and last but not least, the Atore. I'm very happy it's a little easier to decipher how powerful these vehicles really are. Continuing over to the gun store, once again, a little bit more clarity when it comes to how powerful some of these weapons are, and it also tells you the rate of fire, which is something I don't believe it used to say before. And what I mean by rate of fire is how quickly you can shoot off the rounds in that weapon. So this one says 10 rounds per second, this one says 11 11 rounds per second this one says 10 rounds per second as well this one here is 12 rounds per second and the vector is coming in at 20 rounds per second so pretty cool feature there something i will say though is that i wish there was a little bit more of a contrast in the colors and what i mean by that is this notice how the scorpion is the weapon i currently own and that's highlighted green just like the other weapons that i don't currently own the same thing can be said about the vehicles and i should have mentioned this before we left the car dealership but if you allow me to inject the footage we just saw here you can see that it's the exact same thing with the cars unfortunately it's really hard to quickly identify which cars i own and which ones i don't my suggestion here is just simply change the ones that i don't own to maybe like a red or maybe like a basic white and simply highlight what i do own in green I hope that makes sense because I think that would make it a little bit easier on the eyes. Right now, there is just way too much green on this screen. And the same thing with the screen over at the gun store. Over to the tool store, similar thing here. Everything is sort of highlighted in green. But nevertheless, you can still see what you own and what you don't. Something I do like about this is that it very quickly tells you what it's used for. And if it's not used for anything practical, it'll simply say roleplay. And a perfect example of that is the flash flashlight and the scanner these are strictly used for role playing purposes although the scanner is actually practical in the game meaning that there is a real world use for it the flashlight i mean it is and it isn't i mean it obviously does shine light in some dark corners of the map but other than that, it really is just used for role play. It can be used as a weapon of opportunity or anything like that. However, if we click on the hammer, if we click on the knife, you can see that those are very easily identified as melee weapons. And the RFID disruptor, the drill, and the lockpick are also marked strictly for robberies. And speaking of robberies, nothing too much different here. If you click on the lockpick menu, it's going to take you to the sort of rounded menu that's a little bit easier on the eyes as well. But unfortunately, once you get past this, the actual actual mini game itself is no different than what it previously was. I'm not sure what I was expecting here. Maybe just a little bit of a revamp, maybe just an actual lock pick, if you will, kind of showing how the pins are moving up and down. I don't know. I'm sort of just thinking out loud here, but nevertheless, not too much of a difference here. Same thing can be said about the jewelry store. And the same thing applies to the ATM. No major changes here. Switching on over very quickly to the police team Zanies, I was expecting to see an overhaul with the ELS UI, but unfortunately we're not getting that just yet. I'm a little surprised as everything else changed, but maybe they did this because they felt it wasn't completely necessary, and I can't say I totally disagree. Not a big problem here. Up in the right hand corner, however, you do see a different layout with the XP, and if you click on the XP, nothing really happens, so you have to be mindful of what the next rank is. And the final note I'll make here, Zanies, is just remember that just when you're walking around as a civilian and that green bar is your health, the same thing when you're in a vehicle, that blue bar becomes the vehicle's health. So if you crash, you are gonna see that bar take a small hit, just like that. And that's it, boys and girls. I know I'm missing a few things maybe here and there, but this is just a quick video to show you guys a new update. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the mobile version. Let me know what you guys think of the layout and all the user interface updates down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, long live the zanies. The 2023 Zany Official merch is here, zanies. Five very special designs all done by yours truly and i'm very very proud of them beginning with this white style here obviously it's a play on a very popular brand and yes if you're wondering there is a special zany logo hidden somewhere in this hoodie so that way you know you're getting the real thing and as always zanies this will remain at the rock bottom price of only 10 robux we have the black hoodie we have a special coyote color this year and i'm also introducing this amazing looking yellow hoodie for 2023 please remember 
Remember, the easiest way to get this is to go to the avatar shop and type in Zany Official. From there, you'll be able to see all of my creations. And if you're part of the group, all you have to do is click on the store page and it'll be the top collection for this year. Go get your 2023 hoodie today.